It's always fascinated me that we spend so much of our lives searching for the things that we realize in time we had all along. That our journeys bring us full circle, our stories end how they began, and in the end, we fade away holding tightly to that from which we emerged. Not because we fell short, no, but because eventually, we realize how simple things really are from the outside looking in. We realize what we have. Speaker Dennis Waitley once said, happiness cannot be traveled to, owned, earned, worn, or consumed. Happiness is the spiritual experience of living every minute with love, grace, and gratitude. That's why at times like these, when we get to look around and recapture our perspective means so much. Almost as though it's reassurance that, yeah, life can be hard, frustrating, abstract, but that at the core of everything is contentment, is enough. It's why we need not search for love we are, in fact, surrounded by. We need not search for hope when it's ingrained in every breath or reassurance when it's a phone call away. I once heard an interesting idea that we only see what we focus on. And not only metaphorically, but literally so much of life exists outside our periphery. If you can walk down the same street every day and see something new each time, imagine the power of readjusting how you see life as the sun comes up in the morning. Imagine pulling more of what matters into focus, becoming living proof that we don't need to wait until things are gone or changed to appreciate what we have and who we are. I think that's why Cicero said gratitude's not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all others. Because when one can look around and see all that they have, scarcity has to give way to abundance. Fear becomes hope, the mundane becomes beautiful, gratitude is power because it's not acquisition. It's awareness, a reset button, a tap on the shoulder reminding us that life is about the people who make it worth living. The times we spend together, it's a reminder that the minutes aren't ticking towards some life-altering grand finale, but that each second is, in and of itself, a miracle. And of course, I'm a believer that we are here to evolve, to grow, to test the waters, to push our limits. But I'm also a believer in asking why. And it seems to me the answer is not to obtain something new, but to share who we are with the world not to get what we don't have, but to make the most of what we do. Not to impress or fit in, but to take that passion that increases our heart rate, that curiosity that pulls us towards new horizons, the incredible friends and family by our side, and simply realize that we are, this very moment, embarked upon the adventure of a lifetime. And for that, I am forever grateful.